Yes, this is me, Hudson George. I'm just doing a little live this evening, you know what I mean? As usual. Well, they say tomorrow is tomorrow is a big day in Grenada. Heroes Day. Well, this morning I listened to GBN to the point, and according to the news report, they say they wouldn't be declaring heroes. So I don't know. But my topic is today is October 19th in Grenada, supposed to be Freedom Day, not Heroes Day. We have a new prime minister, young prime minister. He doesn't know about the revolution. So what he hear, he believe. So who influence him? So when you ask them question on 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 the, in the media, you know, calling program, and you ask them questions, they telling you they never say they go make Maurice Bishop a hero. You see how dishonest these people are. Well, if you don't want to make Maurice Bishop a hero. Why you want to celebrate October 19th as Heroes Day? Who are the heroes? That's the question. And the, the Prime Minister make a statement saying no, no um, electronic music. His opponent say the government in Gazette what he is saying. Right? So if it wasn't gazette, me, I don't, I'm not no lawyer. <laughs> but if you didn't get a gazette, it is the prime minister making the law or he bigger than the law. Okay, back to heroes. Kiwani James won with first Olympic medal for us. So why wasn't the day Kiwani James won the medal? They say heroes day. Why is October 19? Question for October 19th. The time Prime Minister Dick Mitchell taking to telling people you can't play mu electronic music on October 19th and to is that there peace and all kind of thing and you know like a holy day. To me that is dictatorial too because for example the first religion in Grenada Colonial religion in Grenada is Roman Catholic. Can the Archbishop of Grenada tell all Christian people come to the Catholic Church or don't go to the church to their church on some day that is sacred to Catholic? Well, if October 19th is sacred to Prime Minister Dick Mitchell. We're in a multi-party democracy, so he could call his government supporters and they go to Progress Park and celebrate heroes there. And if he want to make Maurice Bishop a hero, which I oppose to, <laughs> he could do it because he got the power. But what I'm saying, Mr. Dick Mitchell must realize that political heroes don't necessarily last. Mahatma Gandhi statue was taken down in Ghana. He was taken down in South Africa. So, Mr. Dick won't be in Green, ruling Grenada for ever and ever. So, if he... <clears throat> Maurice Bishop might be a hero why he's in power. When he's out of power, that might go. That is not permanent. But Kirani James as an Olympian, first Grenada, first Olympic medalist. His record will always there. <laughs> So, our next thing again. I listen to all. What I observe with these political parties today, they just do damage control. They are the smooth talkers to come in the media and do the damage control. And some of these smooth talkers, they don't live in mainstream society because on the language they use, they think they're more than or they're more. They superior to mainstream people. They're in a class by themselves. They are political analysis and so. You know, I listen to a few programs. I even there to talk about bloggers and journalists. 
a typewriter is older than a computer. So long ago, you had typists, right? So journalist is a older profession than, than blogging or vlogging. So when you watch on your wall with your bagger certificate and you feel when you're talking smooth, you're making sense. You didn't create the universities you went to. So the same people who create those universities, they recognize bloggers. So people are blogging. And if you are print journalists or whatever journalists, you do your thing. Yes, media is nasty. People, a lot of stupid people in the media does disrespect people. But you go, both political parties doing it. So, when smooth talkers is talking, every political party had a advocates to do the dirty work, both NNP and NDP, NDC, to disrespect people. So when the smooth talkers come forward, then smooth talkers don't only come to do damage control. So going back to to October 19. Now, Prime Minister Dick Mitchell, they invent Prime Minister Gonzalo of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to come. He, even Mitchell, Dick Mitchell himself say, Gonzalo and Maurice Bishop was friend. Now, Dick Mitchell maybe was one year old when Grenada Revolution took place. Instead of he bringing Ralph Gonzalo with the heroes there in Grenada, why didn't he take a plane and go to St. Vincent and ask Ralph Gonzalo to explain the evils of the revolution? Than trying to glorify a revolution and a leader. And furthermore, Grenada don't have a, don't have a revolution right now. What we have is party politics in a Westminster system of government and when the Prime Minister is telling people they cannot play certain equipment. If some people break the law and they play the music, what you go do with them? You go jail them? <laughs> well, if he's so stupid to jail the people, then he then, then he is more dictatorial than Maurice Bishop because Maurice Bishop the build more jail to jail people. Right? Who criticize him? So you as the prime minister, in a, you elected to serve the people in a dem democracy. You had a manifesto. But all from from the blue blues now. Heroes Day, October 19. When people question it, they want to put down who question it. If the date was our other date, people would not question it. Secondly. Why Dick Mitchell don't call the codeite and the bishopite and ask them why they shoot down one another? <laughs> he not doing that. <laughs> but you want to tell people how the heroes. And I see a young politician, they put on definition of what is a hero. National hero. What is a national, national hero? Based on Grenada Constitution, Maurice Bishop, he is, is not constitutional either. So I don't know the law. <laughs> so so what, what is the hero about? Also, was Maurice Bishop fighting against the British to give us independence? Was when Gary D. have estate strike sky red and then the British come down? The British didn't come from Maurice Bishop. They didn't come for him. So he was not threat to the British. But Maurice Bishop joined Cold War politics. And he was getting foreign aid from countries that opposed to American imperialism. Is Dick Mitchell look like a politician that look anti-imperialist in his outlook? Is he, is he as 
uh, Agarafi wa Saram Hussein wa wa Otiga wa wa Chavez wa na uh, Moduro o oh, about us of of um, Suriname <laughs> so what 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 is the purpose of October 19th a lady call to the point this morning on GBN and she said she and Morris Bishop is first cousin <laughs> and she asked him well, how, how come Morris Bishop are, are you to have Morris Bishop as an evil man and the lady said she is Morris Bishop first cousin <laughs> And she was mentioning about a steel man, a steel Grenadian, the people who this on him steel, who was who overpower a terrorist on a on a commercial plane to prevent the terrorists from blowing up the plane. And she was saying, Well, that's that Grenadian man, the steel man from Grenada, she must see him as a hero than she she owned first cousin Maurice Bishop, who she perceived to be an evil guy. So, what is Dick Mitchell's intention and ambition and telling us Grenadians about heroes day on October 19th? Most likely, Dick Mitchell has a young month all on October 19. What do you know? Up to today, people don't know why Bishop and Cora and them shoot up one another. Does Ralph Gonzalez know the story? <laughs> eh? <laughs> you, you entertaining Ralph Gonzalez in Grenada on Heroes Day. If Ralph Gonzalez lose points and Vincent tomorrow, he don't have diplomatic immunity again. We don't know if he will be looked at for wrong things he do during his leadership. We don't know. You have other leaders in the Caribbean who are not in power and well, whatever they do, they do. And they're working free. They don't, have, they, not, they don't have diplomatic immunity again, but Ralph Gonzalez. <laughs> we don't know if he have power. So, we don't know. So, and he is a friend of Maurice Bishop. Right? So, he knows about Maurice Bishop. What he coming to tell us tomorrow? Ralph Gonzalez is a St. Vincent politician, St. Vincent people and Grenada people, we are Caribbean people. But our political culture is not necessarily the same. Things Ralph Gonzalez survive within St. Vincent politically. Maybe in Grenada he, he would not have survived with it, they would have voted him out of power. Right? So I don't understand what um, Dick Mitchell is up to. And. His revolutionary coup. <laughs> so, for me, the reason why I said October 19 is more like a freedom day for Grenadian. Grenadian people does talk revolution, but they do understand revolution. They does like a leader. A lot of things happen in Grenada. <coughs> Grenadians like to talk and Grenadians like to lie on one another too and make up story on one another. There was a time in Grenada, Grenadians scared of Grenadians. Right? Then Bishop and Cora and them shoot up one another and, they, and then the same Grenadians who say no heroes day, they call for Papa Reagan to come and invade them. <laughs> right? A lot of them. I see guys who be smoking big ganja stick now you know, Maurice Bishop was revolutionary. In days when Maurice Bishop was in power, they couldn't smoke marijuana. Right? But now, I don't know what it is with marijuana and revolution for them. Right? But anyway, 
we back to Westminster system of government. If you're not a criminal, you could run. You could you could run for office. If you win, you win. You lose, you lose. Dick Mitchell come to power by the ballot box. So what hero he talking about on October 19? And we don't know the story why Bishop and Cold and them was fighting. Does he know? He don't know. So what is the hero there? And who is behind it? And they say Kit Mitchell is an old man. But Ralph Gonzalez is an old guy too. Older than Kit Mitchell two, mo two months. But Dick Mitchell will be entertaining Ralph Gonzalez tomorrow who is an old man too. And he's NDC supporters go go and listening to this old Prime Minister from, from St. Vincent. Why is in Grenada they say farmer Prime Minister Kit Mitchell is too old, he shouldn't be in politics. So all these things it, to me, I don't understand what's going on in Grenada with all this hero talk and thing, 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 thing. We living in the American backyard. Right? They say never cry wolf. When wolf do they? A mice, a mouse mustn't trouble an elephant. An elephant is a big animal. A, a mouse small. I, I see on Facebook people talking about about America make their own revolution. So Grenada should make your own revolution. Grenada don't have no technology. When America and Britain was fighting revolution. These European people are highly industrious in making weapons. Bishop had to go to Cuba to get some guns and sign up paper and all kind of thing. We don't know what they sign. What they sign. I work in a company in Canada selling appliances. And they're among the Fridge and stove and other range. I know I see Canadian just ship to Cuba to give people in Cuba. They're talking about Maurice Bishop and Glorious Revolution. The question to Mr. Dick Mitchell and his revolutionary advisors, most of, some of them living in the belly of imperialism in America and they won't go in Cuba and North Korea to live on. <laughs> and you they're trying to impose something on us that they don't live in. They're making kids in, in, in the United States. They're raising family. I want to ask the Prime Minister if he believe Maurice Bishop was alive today and Prime Minister of Grenada. We believe Maurice Bishop will get money to run Grenada, to run the country. Do B Dick Mitchell believe Maurice Bishop, if he didn't get killed on October 19th, would he be able to make an impact in Grenada politics after the Berlin Wall came down? Where is the revolution? They're trying to push on us. That was glorious. That is nonsense. And a lot of NDC people don't like that, you know. But because of tribal politics, they won't ask the Prime Minister if he's crazy. <laughs> this hero, the thing is nonsense. People, most the green, same Grenadians, who are called the Yankee to invade after him. Even some of the same Maurice Bishop supporters that say, when the Yankee come, they'll be glad. <laughs> eh? Now tomorrow, they will be in progress back. The biggest anti-imperialist. And they say they'll be glad when Reagan come. <laughs> eh? When the American open the embassy in Grand and all of them run for visit. They're in America, but they're still talking revolution. <laughs> revolution come from people. It don't come from charismatic leaders. 
So if Dick Mitchell want to an ideal, idealize Maurice Bishop as some great revolutionary leader, why he didn't start a Maurice Bishop party or take over the Maurice Bishop Patriotic Front movement instead of taking over the NDC party? I, I show sure that all, all NDC core members are, are grinding in their boots, but they don't say nothing. <laughs> but anyway, we in a new generation. So the reason why I'm questioning that, an NDC activist on the western side follow me on Facebook, and he was harassing me. He tell me he think I'm working, what I'm thinking I'm working for some foreign agents based on the things that he does post. And I must have an agenda. Well, maybe why he is a NDC, the agenda was, the agenda is to push revolution on us down our throat on October 19th. Well, I would have heard now they're saying they won't name no hero. If Deacon want, Mitchell want to be our one term president, prime minister, well, they go on and, and, and name. He was there. <laughs> and then they say, when people get an injury, they just take a yard. Okay, no amplifier instrument, electronics. He take an inch on the people. And some people say, what he asking for, he didn't gazette it. Well, he get away with it tomorrow. Next day, he go, he go tell you something again. And next day, he might be, be in jail to jail you too. <laughs> because he ide idealized Maurice Bishop. If you are fo if you playing football and you want to be like Ronaldinho, you go move like Ronaldinho. If you want to be like Pele, you, you will be like Pele. You, you try to be like Pele. If you want to be like Vivian Richards, or Brian Lara, you might pick up the style. So what B Dick Mitchell is telling us is he a potential Dick? Dictator in the making. What Grenada does manufacture? Most of the money coming in in Grenada is through tourism and hot hotel industry, service industry, tourism, and remittance, remittance money. Grenada don't have no big set of export. What? What is the big export? Spice and sauce up. So as a pizza kind of spice too. <laughs> but we're talking anti-imperialism and all them kind of thing. This thing is to me is just nonsense. What these guys and them trying to to create in Grenada with the US day. What what make a person a national hero? Bishop couldn't even move Paul Schoon. <laughs> so so how is that you? <laughs> what make him are you? <laughs> but I don't understand. Anyway, this is me, Hudson George Iconius. Till I come again. You guys are amazing people in Grenada. Amazing. <laughs>